tenses. When we make a statement, we indicate whether we are referring to a situation. Uh, we exist now, existed in the past, or is likely to exist in the uh, future. This point of time that a statement relates to is indicated by the verb uh, group in the clause. He looks happy today. He looked happy yesterday. He will look happy tomorrow. In the above sentences, this happiness belongs to three uh, different kinds of time. Today, present, yesterday, past and tomorrow, future. The verb look has taken different forms to denote the three periods of time tenses. In sentence one, uh, the verb look has taken the present form. So the verb is said to be in the present tense. In sentence two, the verb looked has taken past form. So the verb is said to be in the past tense. In this uh, sentence three, the verb will look has taken the future form. So the verb is said to be in the future tense. Thus, a set of verb forms, uh, three forms of verb that indicate a particular point in time or period in time in the present, past or future is called tense. We can also say that tense of a verb shows the time of an action or event. The set of verb forms belonging to a particular tense is usually obtained by the addition of inflections to the base form of the verb or by the inclusion of ex auxiliaries or models in the verb group as shown at sentences 1, 2 and 3 above. We have already seen that there are three periods of time and so there are three tenses present, past and future. Each of these tenses has four forms based on the time and performance uh, of action, present tense, indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect, continuous. Past uh, tense, indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect, continuous. Future tense, indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect, continuous. The chart given below explains uh, the different forms of the verb. Work in all the uh, tense forms present, uh, first form, I work, I am working, continuous. Simple is I work. Continuous, I am working. Perfect, I have worked. Perfect, continuous, I have been working. Then second person, uh, simple, you work. Continuous, you are working. Perfect, you have worked. Perfect, continuous, you have been working. Third person, simple, uh, present, he works. Continuous, he is working. Perfect, he has worked. Perfect, continuous, he has been working. Past, I have worked. Simple, I have worked. Uh, continuous, I was working. Uh, perfect, I had worked. Perfect, continuous, I had been working. Second person, you worked. You, uh, This is simple. Continuous, you were working. Perfect, you had worked. Perfect, continuous, you had been working. Third person, he worked. It's simple. And continuous, he was working. Perfect, he had worked. Perfect, continuous, he had been working. Future, first person, I shall will work. Uh, continuous, I shall uh, be working perfect I shall have worked perfect continuous I shall have been working future second person you will work continuous you will be working perfect you will have worked perfect continuous you ha uh, will have been working future third person he will work continuous he will be working perfect he will have worked perfect continuous he will have been working the following sentences are reproduced from the above table I work Number uh, this is number one. I work. Number two. I'm working. I have worked. I have been. Number four. I've been working. The verb used in the uh, in these sentences marks the present time, and so they are said to be in the present tense. Uh, let us now examine the above uh, four sentences separately. In I work, the verb shows that the action is simply mentioned without saying anything uh, about the completeness or otherwise of the action. So it is a present indefinite uh, tense. In I am working, the verb shows that uh, the action is continuing, so it is a present continuous tense. In I have worked, the verb shows that the action is completed or perfected. So uh, it is a uh, present perfect tense. In I have been working, the work shows that the action is still going on through some of the work uh, which has been completed. So it is a present perfect continuous tense. We may conclude uh, from the above analysis that the tense is the relationship between the form of 
over and the time to which it refers as well as the state of an action it refers to. Similarly, we can understand all the forms of the past and future tense. In many statements, uh, it is adjunct and not the tense of the verb which carries the time reference. The country celebrates its independence day tomorrow. Next week, he is coming here. Uh, when we are discussing an existing state of affairs, we use a verb which is in the present tense. The simple present formation of uh, the simple present positive form. Normally, this uh, tense is formed by using the base form of the verb after the subject, but with the third person singular subject, he, she, it, etc. is added to the base form of the verb. I read, we read, you read, he, she reads. They read, Ram reads, Ram and Shan reads, uh, then and Rose. Interrogative. To make a uh, question or interrogative form of this tense, do or does, is placed in the beginning of the sentence and the base form of the verb is used without any inflection. Do I read? Do we read? Do you read? Does he, she, it read? Do they read? Does Ram read? Do Ram and Shan read? Does the land do? Negative form. To make the negative form of this tense, uh, do not does not is uh, used before the base form of the verb without any inflection. I do not read, we do not read, you do not read, he, she, it does not read, they do not read. Negative interrogative. The negative interrogative of this tense is formed by shifting do or does in the negative sentence to the beginning of the sentence. Do I not read? Do we not uh, read? Do you not read? Does he, she, it not read? Do they not read the present continuous uh, formation of the present continuous positive form? This tense is formed by using the ing form of the verb after is, am, are, after the subject. I am sleeping, we are sleeping, you are sleeping, he, she, it is sleeping, they are sleeping. Interrogative. To make the interrogative form of this tense in present continuous, we shift is and are to the beginning of the sentence. Am I sleeping? Are we sleeping? Are you sleeping? Is he, she, it sleeping? Are they sleeping? Negative form. To make the negative form of the tense in present continuous tense, we use not between is, am, are and the ing of the verb. I am not sleeping. We are not sleeping. You are not sleeping. He, she, it is not sleeping. They are not sleeping. Negative interrogative. The negative interrogative of this tense is formed by shifting is am are in the negative sentence to the beginning of the sentence. Am I not sleeping? Are we not sleeping? Are you not sleeping? Is he, she, it's not sleeping? Are they not sleeping? The present perfect. Formation of the present perfect positive form. This tense is formed by using the third form of the verb after the auxiliary verb has, have. We use has with the third person singular subjects, he, she, it, etc. You have prayed. He has prayed. Interrogative. To take the interrogative form of uh, this tense in uh, present perfect tense, we shift has have to the beginning of the sentence. Have you prayed? Has he prayed? Negative form. To make the negative form of this tense in present perfect tense, we use not after the auxiliary verb has have. You have not uh, prayed. He has not prayed. Negative interrogative. The negative interrogative of this tense is formed by shifting has have in the negative sentence to the beginning of the sentence. Have you not prayed? Has he not prayed? The present perfect continuous. Read the following sentences. The baby has been sleeping since 8 a.m. point of time. She has been cooking food for an hour period of time. The children have been playing since 5 p.m. point of time. The laborers have been working for three hours period of time. The time involved in the action expressed in this tense is mentioned in two different ways. As a point of time uh, given, given the time when the action began since 4 a.m., since 1981, since January, since last night. Since is used while stating a point of time. As a period of time, a calculated period of time. For three days, for a week, for a year, for two hours, for is used while stating a period of time. Formation of the present perfect continuous positive form. This tense is formed by using the ing of a uh, form of the verb after the auxiliary verb has been or have been. You have been uh, waiting throughout the day. He has been waiting since uh, morning. They have been waiting for a long time. Interrogative. 
to make the interrogative form of this uh, tense we shift has have to the beginning of the sentence have you been waiting throughout the day has he been waiting since morning have they been waiting for a long time negative form to make uh, the negative form of this tense uh, we use not after has have i have not been waiting throughout the day he has not been waiting since morning they have not been waiting for a long time negative interrogative the negative interrogative of this tense is formed by shifting has have in the negative sentence to the beginning of the sentence have you not been waiting throughout the day has he not been waiting since morning have they not been waiting for a long time